Mihai's granddaughters liked to keep to themselves mostly. They were well behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at them, wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all bore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Erugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them, Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shilaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Corneliu Leopold Blanca Carol Aon Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. Shilaji. When he was young, he was the heir to the Grand Duchy of Shilaji. Then, revolution broke out among his people. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Arusian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot when the royal family was ousted and Arugia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. She laughed like a princess. And I found out later, she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for, the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for the Arugian people. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive. It's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland, he kept hidden, even from me. Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. New objective received. Some welcome. All aircraft, spread out and attack. We're clear to attack, right? I heard the regular forces were gonna clean things up. It's just like before. We blow the shit out of everything. 
Sharp as attack, aren't you, Spare 8? Regular forces can reduce losses if you tenderize the base first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. <laughs> Locked on target. We're being attacked. Enemy aircraft. All squadron. Ready to get to your interceptors. Open fire. Affirmative. We'll do what we can. Transport truck spotted. Not a threat, but feel free to take them out. Listen to me. Willing to leave is a kind of specialty of mine. What are the odds of getting out alive? That's for you to figure out, Spare 7. You're hitting three locations. Some of their powers are threat levels vary. Think of the best way to rob them of their ability to respond. Use those empty heads of yours. If you die too fast, you won't even be useful as targets. The vehicles have been taken out. Move on to the next target. You're our official now, Trigger. Go 
operation on your part. I've still got top score. Chow? <laughs> Man, you're useless. Everyone knows you can your numbers. The enemy can only approach us from certain angles. to return and resupply. Spare 15, this is the control tower. Make your landing check. Too fast. Lower your airspeed. Bank left. Lower your nose. You're too high. Raise your nose. You're too low. Spare 15, you are cleared for takeoff. Get your ass in gear.
Objective complete. Mission accomplished. Okay. You've hit the enemy base enough. Operation is complete. Head back. The bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. You guys get a pass. Damn right. I wouldn't be surprised if we're thrown in solitary too. Hey, who wants to bet who goes into solitary? That's what that gambling nut job would say if he was still here. <laughs> Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Laugh already. You lost planes, but the mission succeeded. However, some of you crossed the return line for supplies and for repairs. This will result in solitary. Take them.